This is Chad and Dalton from Coyote Classics here in Green, Iowa. And today we're gonna check out a car that I've been super excited to, to video and drive, and a car that a lot of our viewers on YouTube and customers that call in have been excited to see. Um, this is a 1972 Cuda Resto Mod that's gonna blow your mind. Absolutely beautiful, super powerful with a numbers matching motor that's been built to the max. Sounds fantastic too. What a great color combination on this 72 Cuda. Yeah, four wheel disc brakes, air conditioning. And the numbers matching 340 that they they beefed up and made this thing kind of scary to drive. Chad said he just drove it a little bit ago and and uh, you put your foot into it and you're going sideways. AC looks like the AC has been converted over uh, to the modern Freon. Nice set of headers on it. Power brakes and their four wheel disc and power steering as well. Yeah, a muscle resto mod with air. Something of this caliber is just awesome. Everyone wants air conditioning anymore. Um, still has a factory fender tag. So many Mopars, especially when people resto mod them like this one a little bit. They don't keep the numbers matching motor. They don't have the fender tag. This one's got it all. Absolutely. And this car and that 70 Camaro are proof that you can get high horsepower out of a small block. Yeah, really cool car. Um, I would classify this, and I wanted to talk to Dalton about it. This is a very, very well-built car. A lot of good thought and good parts went into it. Um, and I'm guessing it's probably done in the last what, five years or so. I mean, you can just see a little age on it. This car is one that's been driven and, and enjoyed. It's not a trailer queen, but it's definitely a show car. Yep, absolutely. And uh, I wouldn't want this thing to be a trailer queen because then, then you wouldn't drive it. You know, it's a show car that you can drive and enjoy and burn some rubber in. I love the grill on these Kudas. Yeah, and what better combination could you have than black with a silver billboard with black interior? As we look up and down the sides, a black paint, super slick. Chrome on the front's nice. If we look here around the, they did keep the original little uh, marker lights down here, the little turn signals down below. Those are original. The grill looks great. This is stuff that I was kind of talking about. It's got just a couple little chips. It's got a little chip here that's been touched up. Really good gap from front to back. Of course, your 344 barrel, Cuda hood. If you look at the paint really close, just due to some age, there's just some little solvent pop or something right here. And then a little spot right there as well. Just a little chip right here. Again, I'm not picking this car apart. It's the neatest car on the lot mm -hmm. right now. I'm not kidding you. Um, it, it, probably the fastest, the neatest, and I love it the most. But uh, I don't want everyone to think it's a trailer queen either. No, but drivability is perfect. There was so much money spent in suspension work on this car. If you go to the website, there's a big list, you know, of just how much money went into it with all the modern front suspension, frame connectors, you know, all the way around this thing. Um, you know, it's been brought, brought up to, to drive outstanding it is super cool as far as our four-wheel disc brakes they are slotted and drilled on um, boss rims and just the color on those rims match up beautifully to the kind of that uh, that granite color mm -hmm. that graphite billboard. color i should say of the 340 billboard And for a black car too, this thing is real straight. Does have a couple, if we come down here way at the bottom, almost underneath the car, there's a couple little bubbles right here that need to be touched up. Everyone loves the Cuda. Yeah, everyone's think. honking and waving at the Cuda today. One guy just stopped, is that a 71? I'm like, no, it's a 72. And 
another little spot here. It's got just a little hairline crack. And you can see the buffing compound guy is still in a couple of spots that'll come out, but it's got just a little hairline crack right here. That's just buffing compound there and around the edges. And I like how, if you look at the tail lights, I like how they, they smoked out the tail lights and then the side marker lights to kind of fit with this, uh, you know, blacked out look they're going for. Inside the trunk's great as well. It does have a subwoofer in there, mm -hmm. um, but inside the trunk is awesome. Uh, it's all carpeted nice, but underneath the carpet, it's all painted nice black gloss as well. And in my opinion, the coolest part still to come, the interior on this thing is awesome with those uh, gauges, which you'll see. Tinted glass all the way around, dual, uh, dual painted mirrors. I'll tell you what, Dalton, if this one was, if this was summertime, I would definitely be driving this all summer long. I know this is the car that, you know, one of those cars that we get in and we're, we debate on whether or not we want to sell it or just drive it. Yeah. But unfortunately we're getting into winter, so there's no sense in me keeping it around here. Um, scuff plates are nice carpets gorgeous this uh i'm gonna call it i don't know if it's leather or naga hide but it's very very soft it's not your typical vinyl um, as far as the dome light works perfectly it's led the headliner and visors and rearview mirror are perfect all nice and tight but check this out i love these seats um like i said a lot of thought you want to push that ahead don't Check out, check that out. So many seats don't move ahead like this that go all the way ahead so you can be a, a bigger person and get in the back seat. Look at that. And it's got uh, um, beautiful back door panels. Same thing, matching back seat to the front seat. Everything is reupholstered. So it's all custom. They need to just go ahead and buy a, a set of bucket seats. I mean, the back seat matches the front seats perfectly. They're all covered in the same stuff. You can lean your seat back. It's got the correct console. It does have a four-speed overdrive, which is really nice. So you got a four-speed transmission. Now, if you don't like the cup holders here, that's fine. It's probably a $50 or $80 piece. Just take out the whole... I like what they did there. You can definitely just put a new um, lid, on. lid on it if you want to. Got the correct steering wheel. They didn't change that up. And it's also got tilt wheel, um, which that's is nice. almost unheard of on this these cars. As far as the gauges, like Dalton said, they're great gauges, very nicely done. JVC CD player. And then when you start the car up the gauges, there's like ring lights around the outside of them. So once you start it, they all kind of light up. Maybe you can't see it out here in the sun, but yeah, you can see that kind of white light, it's sweet. Yep, I see that. Yeah, that's pretty cool, huh? Yeah. I would definitely drive this thing every day, man. Um, as far as inside here, oh yeah, just this is this thing fuel injector? It must be, huh? It's got a sniper EFI in here. Um, inside the light, inside uh, glove box, light works, and just look at the quality of the glove box and stuff. I mean, just beautiful new latch. The paint on the dash is beautiful. Top of the uh, dash pad is awesome as well. Let's go ahead and look foresty on that. bumper and the chrome around the back looks great yeah it's got the holly sniper efi system okay um msd ignition and again on our website you know we kind of listed all the things that were done to this car. i just wasn't sure i know we kind of talked about it in the showroom yep. before that i mean really kind of a trouble free muscle car with about every option of the modern comforts that you need over the wheel well is awesome Driver's side down here is perfect. Bottom of the door lines up great. There's one little tiny little paint crack right here in the stripe, in the decal. A couple little solvent pop pieces right here. If you look right in the highlight. As far as the roof goes, roof's beautiful, laser straight, very nice. Back of the hood fits really nicely here to the top of the fender, top of the door. Nice gap all the way to the bottom. Rocker and bottom of the door fit good. I took it down the road just a little bit here around the, around the block to get it out here. So it's got just a couple little spots of, of road grime on it, but very, very nice all along the bottom. No bubbles or blisters that I can see there. Cool car. I love the spoiler on the back too. It's a nice little touch. And the great stance. 
Yeah, how could I forget about the stance? Um, corner of the door is excellent. Door panels are excellent. It's got the remote mirror on the driver's side. Door jams are all painted nice and black as well. Rubbers are all nice and soft, been replaced during the paint job. As we kind of go through things that work and what don't work, um, this seat also has a lumbar. So yeah, it's got lumbar as well. So go ahead and fire it up here. Um, the AC does work. We checked that when it came in, but we're not caring about that right now. We're gonna get the heat going. Really nice stereo system. It's got the two speed wipers. They work and park correctly. Heat's blowing out nice and hot already, which is great. Really fantastic. Everything seems to work perfectly on it. Um, it's idling about 900 RPM. The gas gauge is working. Oil pressure is at 60 pounds. Amp gauge, volt gauge, or whatever is at 14. Um, temperature is about 130 right now, and it's got uh, 11,907 miles, it looks like. So that's what's awesome about it. It's, it's been driven almost 12,000 miles, you guys. So it, I kind of say, hey, it got through the Midas touch. Somebody's driven it, enjoyed it, got the kinks out of it. Yeah, 11,900 miles on it. Nice. So that's Perfect kinda, amount of miles. Yeah, it is. Probably it was five, ten years rebuilt. Yeah. Unless the guy drove, the, drove it a lot, right? I'll turn the heat off so I can hear this thing better. <laughs> kind of cold though. And now I'll take the cold just to hear that engine. Right there, is that cutouts? Is it got cutouts? No, I'm guessing that's for, oh, that's probably for toggling your little um, gauges there sometimes. Oh, sure it is. You can switch between like odometer or, I'm guessing, could be wrong. Yeah, I'm guessing. I'm not sure what it is. This thing just wants to roll, doesn't it? Feels like she's definitely I think we should get on her here. I don't know. See what she's got. Then we're going to serve all. Holy shit, this thing's fast. And all with an overdrive. That's awesome. My God, it does not feel like a 1972. No. But all the, the suspension upgrades they did, they kept that thing feeling super safe, even when it was half sideways. You know, easy to get back into control of. You know what this kind of reminds me of? That 1970 uh, Plum Crazy Purple GTX we had with that newer Hemi fuel injected. Oh, yeah. They took everything out of a charger, the yep. drivetrain. That's how this that. car feels. Yeah, it just feels, it feels like it's on rails. Wow. In that little, uh, in that now little I tidbit really don't want to sell the damn thing. Yeah, that's crazy, doll. Um, as far as, yeah, it's just got a ton of torque, doesn't it? As far as we're going down the road, 25 mile an hour. Holy Completely smoke. lose control at that 25 mile an hour, guys. There's 60. That's cool, man. So 60 mile an hour, we just dropped into fourth gear and it's doing 1800 RPM. So this car, I've never had a four speed auto work so well. Have you? No, it's just smoother, smooth as can be. I wish the gauges would that come was across. That 80 at 2200 RPM. Yeah. I wish like the gauges, because they look so damn cool in person. I don't know if they'll come across that cool in, in the video, but just a overall tight, fast, badass car. Well, I'll tell you what, whoever buys it's going to see the gauges yeah. at night. Exactly. Yeah, well, that'd be cool. All right. So we're going to go ahead and hit these brakes because we were kind of too excited to even figure out. They're perfect. Look at that. This is the best. If you have a wife that wants a muscle car, seriously, has been wanting one for a long, long time. Um, this is a car that's just pretty much ready to roll. Yeah. I mean, Posy driver too. friendly. Yep. Probably, nice car. Probably uh, fuel efficient. Yep. Yeah. Nice. That's all I can really say about it. But check it out on the website, coyoteclassics.com. I'll put the link down in the comment section of the video. Um, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time.